Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Happy fall, almost. Look behind us. Yeah. How beautiful is this? Very it's fall-tastic. Fall-tastic. The whole show, we have some great <laughs> fall-oriented things coming up. But at 1021 today. So one hour, 21, 21 minutes. minutes. This is it. Oh. Summer's over in one hour and 21 minutes. And just think, winter's going to be here in 89 days. Oh, I don't want to think about that yet. All right. Well, in a 178 spring. So we'll have something else to look Let's forward to. Just jump right over winter, right? Yeah, we wonder don't need what that. they're forecasting for the winter. We'll have to ask them. We'll be interesting to hear. At some point, yes. All right, so with the news that Brandon and Angie are getting divorced and subsequent proclamations that love is dead, we thought it would be fun Aww. to look at the other side of celeb marriages, the ones that are right. keeping it together, yeah, right? Yeah, keeping it real. Let's bring some positivity here to the show, of course. Here is what's brewing in uh, these rare, rare cases. Here are some people who are keeping it together. How about the Beckhams? Okay, David oh, that's and Victoria. True. 1999, they got married. Now, now she was posh spice, right? At the time, I believe that so. Was it. <laughs> I, I feel like the British uh, accent helps too, you know, keeps the love going. Next up, Julia Louis Dreyfus and Brad Hall. She's funny, so I feel like all the laughter that can. That help might be the secret. Keep things going. We also have Denzel and Pauletta Washington. They've been married since 1983. Wow. Cheers Good to them. for them. That guy's the man, anyways. And last but certainly not least, our final celebrities, Teresa oh, and Brandon geez. Dufour. We've only, we haven't even been married three years yet. My Let's hope it's working love. out. Oh my goodness, that That'll was on our honeymoon. A... That pic. Yeah, no. Well, oh, you know, nice. I, I find all these pictures. Do some digging. <laughs> now, but what, weren't you surprised about Brad and Angelina? Like I, I was shocked. I'm yeah, kind of upset about very the whole thing. It's because, not like I know them. But. Right. Well, you you feel like you know them because they're always in the uh, news and everything like that. But I mean, it it is sad. Hopefully, they work things out and really. It's all about the kids. So yeah, and Jennifer Aniston is saying she knew it was going to happen really? at some point. Really? I'm, I'm sure she's over there in the corner chuckling. But, uh, <laughs> that's what's just to their family, of course. Hey, we're going to transition here. Here is what else is brewing. Nearly 30 years after Marty McFly, he wore the Nike sneakers with those power laces uh, in Back to the Future. They are back. Nike is about to come out with a new pair of self-tying shoes, and they're called Hyper Adapt. Yeah, Nike is launching the real version of the iconic pair of kicks on November 28th. That happens to be Cyber Monday. Uh, so I tried to find how much these cost. Yes. And USA Today said it was still a mystery, a mystery about price. However, they're going to come in three different colors and varieties. Oh, how nice. Would you rock those? Would you? I don't often wear sneakers. Okay. I don't think I need them. No? <laughs> no. How about self-lacing, I don't know, heel? What are you no, wearing? There's no laces Pumps? there. I don't know. No? I'm not into I, it. I, it's kind of cool, though. I wonder how they do it. Like, is there a button? Is it just you put your foot in? We'll find out. I don't think it's necessary, though. What's next? Like, self Underwear, where the underwear goes on by itself? <laughs> no, I, f I forgot, this is a PG show. Anyways, uh, we're, we're, we're going to keep moving on here. Uh, Pitbull is back in the news. You know you know him for being in all the music videos. He's always dancing. He's always and hopping up and down. Dale, Dale, that's his thing. But Dale? Now, Dale? Dale. That's Spanish. Oh, I thought it was we'll, like... we'll Google Translate that next uh, in, in our commercial break. But in this is interesting. It, yeah. I don't know if he's gotten this gig before. He know. recently was at the opening of a charter school near Las Vegas. Armando Christian Perez, did you know that was Pitbull's full name? Armando, yes, I did. I did not. He's not the school's either. ambassador. It's Nevada's first sports leadership and management academy, also known as SLAM. Maybe they'll get free, free Nikes, free self-tying Nikes, so that'd be cool. The school hopes to change up how students across <laughs> the country are taught in the classroom, so that's kind of cool. I'm yeah. sure the children were engaged. Yeah. I mean, having a rock star at their school having opening. Having people there, yeah. He, he's kind of like a humanitarian now, I guess, but he's really a global brand when you think. He's one of those guys that people around the world love. Mr. M Mr. Mr. 305. It's Mr. Worldwide, right? Well, <laughs> Mr. Worldwide and Mr. 305. Can, can you say it like him? No. Mr. Worldwide. No? No. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow we'll get it out of her. Moving on now to a story that captured a lot of hearts. A photo of yes. an 89-year-old Chicago popsicle vendor went viral online and led to an unbelievable GoFundMe campaign. Are yeah. you familiar with the story? Very, this is so great. Very heartwarming, yes. Yeah, yesterday the elderly salesman received a check for, get this, more than $384,000. Now, we first heard about this guy about two weeks ago. Okay. And he was saying uh, just what a hard worker he was. And right. he was act he's like 89, and uh, his body was kind of giving out, but he yeah. doesn't have enough money to retire, sure. still trying to pay rent. And then uh, someone started this GoFundMe, GoFundMe and it's yeah. been a huge success. Unreal. 17,000 people wonder. pitched in to raise money for him and his wife. Hmm. So they're going to buy a house, Very and nice. he'll finally get to retire. Little R&R. &R. Enjoy fall time, right? Watch CT style. There you go. That's it. That's what it's all about. <laughs> hey, we're going to transition here, cruising Connecticut. Uh, with the first day of fall, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of ironic with the Norwalk Boat Show. You think summer, boating, but it's actually the 40th year of the boat show, and there's over 250 watercraft that you can check out there. There's okay. I mean, these were incredible shapes, boats. We're thinking, I mean, this yeah. isn't like a speedboat we're talking about. No, these no. were yachts you had yes. a chance to go on. Y yeah, actually, we, we got to hop aboard a $3 million yacht. Take a look.
You have every kind of boat here at the show, from a kayak at several hundred dollars to a yacht at several million, like the one we're sitting on. We're on a 72-foot boat. This is the Galleon 660 Fly. It's the queen of the show. So it has three staterooms, completely equipped with every technology you need so that you really have every creature comfort of home on the water. And here it is, the master bedroom, full with a star constellation, because everybody needs that, right? Yes, I want a star constellation right? when I'm falling asleep at night yeah. on the water, for sure. We can dream. Yes, we absolutely we can it. Uh, <laughs> Worth every beef. <laughs> every penny. So you're going to have everything from center consoles, which people use a lot around Connecticut. You also have water sports boats, which are really popular in Connecticut lakes, so that people can go out and go wake surfing and wakeboarding and water skiing. So this is a jet surf. I'm doing motors. I'm trying to surf. Why not to combine both of them? So it started in 2003 as a joke with a friend. Yeah. Once the board will go, you will just lay down on the board. And then he put a motor, a go-karting motor, inside of the board. Whatever condition you have over there, you can do it in a flat water, you can do it on waves, you can do it in swimming pool. Speed is your friend. Speed gives you stability. I've never heard that before. I feel like we only saw one sixteenth of that video. Yes, we were taping there for about a half hour at least, but it was my first surfing experience, let alone surfing with a motor, so really Interesting. cool. Interesting. Was the water cold? Jet surf. Just a little bit. Yeah, they were like, hey, go, let's, let's go swimming in September. Why not? But make sure you guys check out Norwalk Boat Show. It's today through Sunday. Tickets are 15 bucks for adults. Mm -hmm. Kids 15 and under are free. Head on over to BoatShowNorwalk.com. Grab those tickets. All right, we have a great show for you coming up today.